So because the PCR test is so specific and so and so non-correlated to infectious virus particles and infection, you actually want a test that's less specific like the antigen test because the antigen test will only show positive if the virus is replicating and you have enough of the viral-like particles. So the antigen test, another word for uh, antigen in this context is protein. You can think of it as the spike protein or even the capsid protein. So the antigen test just tests the amount of spike protein, which is a lot harder to detect than that PCR reaction because that takes a lab and, and kind of special equipment. But this, this uh, antigen test, it only works if you have enough of the protein in your system and in that sample to test positive, which is actually lucrative and in our favor if we actually want to identify people that just have transient like in skeleton versus our infectious.